And joining me now is a very special guest, Bill Somerville, founder of Policyvine, but also, if you don't know, he is also he also has a show on Offer Vault TV. That's right, the earnings per call show. You gotta check it out. Bill Somerville, thank you so much for joining us. Dude, thanks for having me, man. I appreciate it. <laughs> it's good to meet in person. Yeah, it's it's great. I've I've got my little show that just started, and I've been a fan of Eddie's show for a while. So like to actually see people, uh, which I think is the biggest thing with a conference or a trade show, is like to get a hold of somebody and uh, be like, holy shit, man! Like this is right. great. We actually, like, <laughs> We're actually get to person. connect. Yeah. It's crazy that, you know, with Skype and all these tools, it's like, I, I felt like I already knew you. Yeah, like, right? Hey, Roman, long, long time no see, even though I've never seen you before. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. It's very true. So just tell us a little bit about Policybind. Sure. So uh, Policybind, I'm a, a founder of a, a paper call network that specializes in insurance, personal lines of insurance. So uh, auto, home. Uh, health, Medicare, final expense, and, and life. We work a lot with captive and independent agents that sell all these products, uh, driving them calls. And also, uh, we do drive some leads as well, but primarily calls is how we help these insurance agents grow their book of business. Awesome. And can you just shed some light on yourself and how you got started in the industry? Yeah, sure, sure. So that's uh, a really good question. Uh, I got into the industry by mistake. Oh, uh, it's a total mistake, actually. Honestly, that's been a common answer today. Yeah, so, <laughs> so funny story. I, uh, I had just gotten out of the army. I was living in New York City, and uh, I decided that I didn't want to live in New York City anymore and that I was going to move to Florida with my brother. We head down to uh, Florida, and he is a lawyer, so he continues to, to be a lawyer. And I just wanted an idiot job where I didn't have to pay attention and all I could do is pay my bills, surf and and hang out while I, I figured my life out. Right. And I got linked up with a company called Datalot. It was a big player Datalot. in the paper call industry working in their call center, just sitting oh. there, um, like literally getting out of the water after a surf and showing up there in board shorts, putting a headset on saying, hey, thanks for requesting additional information about your auto insurance. Let me ask you a couple questions and I'll get you in touch with a specialist. Wow, that's, that's it, it, like literally started. as a call. I was working as a call center representative uh, in, the, in the beginning of 2014. And from there, I just got curious. I just got mm. curious of like, you know, they had like their B2B department in, in the back. I'm like, what are these guys doing back here? Mm. Like phone calls, right. auto insurance, homeowners insurance. I think they were doing roofing at the time. And uh, buybacks for vehicles, just a couple of different weird campaigns. And I just investigated a little bit more and more. And to be quite honest with you, what I enjoyed more than the paper call industry were the people that I was working with. It's a great team. Uh, they're a great company. We still have a ton of friends over there. And I took a liking to them. And just because I, I wanted to, to grow with them and learn more about these people, I took on more responsibility and eventually oh, yeah. somewhere along the line, I have no idea when <laughs> that like trigger point was right. where I said, this is kind of interesting stuff. I, I probably should pay more attention here and surf slightly less and <laughs> show up to work a little bit more. And the rest was, was kind of history. You know, I don't even know sometimes how story. I, I ended up where I'm at right now. I guess like if you, you know, turn around and look at it, you're like, wow, that's a really weird path. But uh, yeah, I, I fell into this industry because I wanted a job with the least amount of responsibility so I could serve. <laughs> That's pretty much what, what it come, came down and to. And now you founded a company. Yeah, founded a, a company. More like uh, I'm just a, a lowly servant for the, the guys that work with us. Uh, and I get that, that fake title, the, the founder, which is like more just like, how, you know, how can we help the staff? How can right. we help our clients more and more? So it's... Uh, title I love some days and a title that I loathe other days. <laughs> That's a great way to put it. I do like how in this industry you can just randomly mistakenly get your start in it and the next thing you know you're loving it, you're working hard, you're gaining momentum and then boom you can start your own company. Like it's it's not uncommon in this industry. So I people watching at home, I hope that's one thing that you can definitely resonate with you. All of our people just getting started in the industry, you got to just dive in and who knows the opportunities are endless. Yeah, that's definitely been my experience with it. Uh, you know, it just 
see where it takes you. It's, it's really interesting. And the people coming to these conferences, I mean, just to give you an idea, I was more on the sales side, not mm -hmm. on the media buying side until last year. Uh, and, uh, you know, I got into the industry. I had taken some courses. There's some great ones out there to teach pay per call. There's a lot of people in our industry that are more than willing to share information, which is kind of the concept of the, mm -hmm. the earnings uh, per call show that we run is the interview style. You know, we bring super affiliates uh, onto the show or guys that are veterans of the industry. Uh, and we just kind of interview style them of like, you know, how did you get your start? Uh, what are you doing? Uh, that's successful for you right now? What are you planning on doing in the upcoming year? And just little tidbits of how to be successful or just right. industry insights that only guys that have made a lot of mistakes can really share with you. And it's been, it's been great for our audience. And it's also been great, honestly, personally for, for, for me, you know, it's, awesome. uh, it's just to ask some questions that I've always wanted to ask <laughs> more. Sometimes I should ask them some of these questions in private, but I'll actually <laughs> ask them to them and know that this is going to be sent out to thousands of people for you to see. But you know, there are no dumb questions. You know, if it's a question and, uh, you need it answered, I will, I'll, I'll ask it. So, uh, we take inquiries from people that, uh, say, hey, you should interview this guy, or hey, can you ask these questions? And it's been an awesome way to tie us into the community. For Definitely. Sure. Yes, make sure you're checking out the Earnings Per Call show. Reach out to Bill. You can always suggest guests that you can have on the show. Please. Um, and yeah, I actually was going to ask you about the show, but I think you pretty much answered that already. <laughs> so <laughs> what is, um, for newcomers to the industry, people just getting their feet wet, what is the best piece of advice you could offer them? Yeah, sure. Come to trade shows. Come to trade shows. It's, it's a game changer. People just see your face and know that you're serious. If you can, uh, if you can swing it, and honestly, man, and anyone can really swing it. You know, uh, come out to the trade shows, shake hands, ask a ton of questions, and I think uh, you'll either get direction on, on, you know, if you should be in the industry or if you shouldn't, or... Uh, you know, which way you should go within the industry. Honestly, that's what's been great for right, us. So yeah, make sure you come to these trade shows and conferences. You yeah. won't regret it. And you, what someone said yesterday, which I liked is they said, you, you won't ever leave empty handed. Sure. No, I, I mean, there's plenty of free swag going around, but also advice uh, and, yeah, and, and, advice, and, no, and knowledge, you know, advice, knowledge, potential networking or business opportunities. Definitely a lot of things, um, a lot of value from these conferences. Yeah, I mean, I swiped like 10 affiliate conference bags that weren't even mine. So I have like 50 <laughs> affiliate summit t-shirts that I'll probably be wearing for like the next uh, 90 days or so. So <laughs> I just wear them in a row. Yeah, my wife makes fun of me. She's just like, you just like find something you like to wear and you just keep continually wearing it. So now I'll just have like 50 sh affiliate summit shirts that I can just wear every single every day. day. So I'm really stoked about that. So I actually <laughs> grabbed a big, couple myself. That's my biggest takeaway from this. What? I'm clothing myself for the next 90 days. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> hey, convenient. Free stuff, right? <laughs> Hats. Be I live in Florida. I don't know when I'm going to use a beanie, but I got 50 of them. <laughs> T-shirts. I think there's track pants. Somebody's giving away track pants. Track I've got pants. A ton of chapstick, another thing that we yeah. never need in Florida. Uh, I think I even picked up some eyeliner as well. I think somebody's giving away eyeliner. So. Oh, interesting. Wow. Yeah, we might, I might throw some of that on tonight before I go out. <laughs> for the, for so. the... It's Vegas. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's Vegas. <laughs> All right. What, um, what do you see as some of the biggest opportunities for 2020? Uh, in terms of paper call stuff? Uh, paper call or just the industry in general? Uh, I'm hearing a lot about, uh, like list management is very popular. It's something okay. that I'm hearing a lot about. I, I think just because, uh, at the time of year, there's a lot of stuff going on with tax and debt right now. Uh, they're not verticals that we're actively involved in, mm. but we do try to work hand in hand with guys, uh, that are in these verticals that might, you know, uh, shoot traffic, uh, to some of our insurance offers. You know, uh, we were talking to a home services guy yesterday. Uh, one thing with uh, with homeowners insurance specifically that if you have you know an upgrade done to your home, let's say thirty forty thousand dollar kitchen remodel, it affects the value of your home. Uh, if the value of your home is going to be affected, then your insurance agent is going to have to know that so that they can provide coverage to include that you know uh, addition to your home or whatever it may be. So we're looking to work with some home uh, service vendors and uh, maybe to have them, you know, run some email to some of our insurance offers 
uh, from, from their clientele. Cool. So it's not something that I, I thought about, but I, I, I heard somebody else was doing it. I brought it up to somebody else mm. and it's great. You'll, you'll meet partners at these shows that, that are cool enough to say like, Hey, we've never done that before, but we're willing to, to try it out with you if you awesome. want to give it a shot. So that's, that's my biggest, uh, my biggest takeaway from the show is not necessarily, not necessarily looking for people that are actively uh, doing insurance offers, but working with verticals that are similar to our offer that we think that their customer base would engage well, you know, with our insurance offers. So we're stoked to try that out next week when we get back to uh, our offices in South Florida. Sounds exciting. Yeah. So lastly, for anyone out there that's interested in working with yourself and policy bind, how can they best contact you? How can they find you online? So best way, hands down, is to uh, go onto our website, which is www.policybind.com. Uh, we have pop-ups to capture emails. We also have a bot in the uh, bottom right-hand corner. So whether you're an advertiser or a publisher, uh, you can fill out that information uh, and our affiliate managers will reach out to you uh, or I'll reach out to you uh, and we'll just, we'll chat. Uh, so that's that's the probably hands down the best way to do it or just pull me over if you're at you know, a trade show or affiliate summit, I'm usually uh, a, a pretty approachable guy. Come up and, uh, you know, let me buy you a drink or something. I'd love to chat. I'm going to hold you to that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone. Eddie Grand, Offer Vault News, Bill Somerville, Earnings Per Call Show. Make sure you check out his show. Subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can see my show, you can see Bill's show. We got a bunch of awesome new content coming for you guys. Eddie Grand, Bill Somerville. We'll see you guys next time. Awesome. Thanks, bro. Thanks, man. <laughs>